In this video, we'll go over Gmail settings for Android devices. You can add an email signature, choose which emails you get notified about, or change other settings. On your Android phone or tablet, open the Gmail app. In the top left, tap the menu. Now scroll to the bottom of the menu and choose settings. From here, we can change our Gmail settings or an account setting. Some Gmail settings can only be changed on a computer. Now let's take a look at some of the general settings. Any settings you change here can be applied to all the accounts that you've added to the Gmail app. Default notification action lets you make delete or archive the default action that appears at the bottom of an expanded Gmail notification from your device's notification bar. When conversation view is turned on, all messages in an email thread are grouped together. Swipe actions, when turned on, let you swipe left or right on your message in your messages list to delete it. From the general settings, you can change the right or left swipe to either archive, delete, mark as read or unread, move to a label, or snooze messages. By default, you can swipe messages to left or right to delete them depending on the setting you chose as your default action. When this setting is turned on, beside each message, you'll see the photo of the person that sent it. You can just tap the photo to check mark it or select it. If this setting is turned off, you'll have to touch and hold the message to select it. Default reply action allows you to choose to reply to everybody in the conversation by default or only to the last sender. When auto fit messages is turned on, messages are resized to make them easier to read. When open web links and Gmail is turned on, it'll open links in the Gmail app for faster web browsing. When you're done with an email, choose to advance to older messages, newer messages, or the conversation list. And for action confirmations, you can ask for confirmation before some of the actions, like deleting messages, archiving messages, or sending messages. Now let's take a look at all the account settings we can make in the Gmail app. After you've added your account, you'll see your email address in the settings list to change the settings on each of those accounts. The My Account section will take you straight to the Google My Account section where you can adjust your personal information, your data and personalization, security, people and sharing, as well as payment and subscription information on your account. Similar to the desktop view, this is myaccount.google.com. For inbox type, you'll have options to choose either default inbox, important first, unread first, start first, or priority inbox. And you can also choose the inbox categories that you'd like to sync. Next section is our notification options. From here you can turn your notifications on or off. From the inbox notifications, we can choose whether to sync our messages for the length of time, whether we want to get label notifications, and if we want to get notified for each message as it arrives. And we can identify the labels that we'd like to sync to the device as well. 
Here you can see I've synced only some of the labels in my Gmail inbox. The rest I don't need on my mobile device. From the Manage Notification section, there are a few sound and alert settings that you can turn on or off for the device. The mobile signature is different from the desktop signature. Here you can set your mobile signature. It will appear in plain text. This is great to put your name, mobile phone number, or maybe a link to your appointment booking. When Smart Reply is turned on, suggested replies might appear at the bottom of emails. From here you can set up a vacation auto response message that will send a message from a first day to the last day to either your contacts or just the internal company. And a brief away message. You can modify the subject and the body once this vacation responder is turned on. With Sync Gmail turned on, you'll get notifications and new emails automatically. When this setting is off, you'll have to pull down from the top of your inbox to refresh messages. You can choose the number of, of mail that you want to automatically sync and store on your device. Any messages that aren't synced won't be available offline. Download attachments, when turned on, are automatically downloaded if you're on Wi-Fi. If the setting's off, you can still download attachments manually. And when images is turned on, they'll show inside of your messages. As you can see, there are many advantages to using the Gmail app. And you can also download the Gmail app on iOS devices within the Apple App Store. If you're a G Suite user using Google Mail for your company mail, I'd encourage you to use this over the standard Apple Mail or some Android devices come with other mail clients that you'd otherwise have to configure. With the Gmail app, all you need to do to configure the app is sign in. You can use the send Gmail sharing in most other apps that you might use and everyone on your team regardless of the type of device that they're using whether Android Apple computer Mac PC it's easy for everyone to be on the same page you'll get access to things like my account in the Google settings be able to use the vacation auto response see your stars and labels just like you do in the Gmail desktop app and get access to new features like smart replies we went over in this video. So thanks for taking the time to go over the Gmail mobile app settings with me. If you like this video or you found it helped you in some way please be sure to subscribe to the channel to get more videos as they arrive. Click that bell to get the updates by email or alerted through your YouTube app. And like, share, or comment on the video. Your helpful comments encourage me to create more and better videos. I appreciate the watches. Thanks for being here.